What's up everyone, it's Timothy here. Welcome to my channel and if you've been here before, welcome back. And today we're gonna to be jumping straight into Instagram because I asked my, my Instagram following what I should do for today's video and lo and behold, Instagram is what they voted for. But more specifically, we're gonna be talking about how you can level up your Instagram feed and just make it look Fire. All the tips I'm about to talk about I have tested and tried over the last year and a half after creating my Instagram profile because I too watched all the videos on YouTube to find out how to make this work and how to make your feed work is the simplest form of getting people's attention. Following these tips and tricks does not guarantee an increase in following or engagement but it will make your feed look amazing. My first tip is to find a niche or a niche, if that's what you say, weirdo. What I mean by finding your niche is what are you gonna be shooting? What is your page about? Is it gonna be photography, videography? It could be a combination of the two. Is it about food? Are you a fashion influencer, a blogger? Are you a photographer, a blogger? You don't have to pick one. I would say pick two things to do, at least when you're starting out, because I picked way more than two when I started my page a year and a half ago, and Mm. I would say pick combinations that work with each other. So for examples, I would say Peter McKinnon. I personally would label him as a cinematographer and photographer, but his feed is mostly landscapes, portraits, and sometimes pictures of either lenses, cameras, coffee, so products. And then you have people like Sorella Moore, who is a travel influencer, a YouTuber, and a photographer. So when you go to her feed, it's mostly pictures of herself, advanced portraiture, or advanced selfies, as she would call them. You have the likes of Dennis Prescott, who's a chef and a food photographer. So you get my point. Second tip is finding a theme, and my favorite example will be Brandon Wolfie. He is a portrait photographer, but his theme is very clear. It's bright colors, he shoots in low light, and it's always got this beautiful bokeh in the background, and just mm, buttery good. Just look at this buttery goodness. The theme could be the way you edit, the way you shoot, what you shoot, and the way you organize your pictures. Tip number three and probably the most important tip and should have been tip number one is organize your feed, people. Organize it. It is so shocking to me how many people do not organize their feed and it also goes for businesses. You have to organize your feed. The way you need to start looking at your Instagram feed is that it is your online portfolio. Whenever I hear about a new photographer, or I hear about a new business or a new product, I always go to their Instagram page first just to see whether it is something I would be interested in. Personally, I've been using Preview for about a year to organize all of my content on my business account. And as you can see, it is a food, video, and photography account. And the one thing, the one drawback to this app is that it doesn't load videos onto the grid, but what you can do is you can find the thumbnail that you're gonna use on Instagram, take a screenshot off that, and then put it into the app so that you can see if it flows properly. The way I've organized my theme is by color. So as you can tell, I'm moving out of that spring vibe, now I'm moving into more of the summer vibe with the greens and introducing more yellows and more colors. Um, but this is how you organize your feet. Now you can click on one picture and maybe this picture and then hit the two arrows and it will swap those pictures. Or you can press down on a picture, just put your finger down on it and move. Move whatever to anywhere you want basically. Oh, wait, come on, come on. Just making sure that it fits with your previous and following post. My tip number four is to respond to all comments, and I mean all comments, including bots. I started doing this a month ago and immediately started seeing a little increase in my engagement rate. Even if you are responding to a bot, you can say something witty, something smart ass, it doesn't matter, it's, you just have to comment. And the, the logic behind it is, if you're responding to a comment with your comment, you now have two comments. So if five people comment on your post and you respond to all five people, you now have 10 comments on your posts. And tip number five is not to give two shits about your following. It is a lot better to have three, four, 500 followers and have like 100, 130, 150, 200 likes and engagement points on each post than to have 15,000 followers and have 100, 130, 200 likes or engagement 
posts points. I don't know, man. This is fake internet points. I don't know. Just to go over all of it, point number one, find your niche. And that is narrowing down all of your big ideas into a few little things that you can actually present to people so when they see your profile, they know what you're about. Tip number two is your visuals or your themes. It's for you to figure out how you shoot, how you edit, so that when your followers are just scrolling through their feed and they see a picture, they know it's exactly you without even having to look at who posted it. Tip number three, and again, it's the most important, organize your feed. This is your online portfolio. Make it look amazing so again, when people come, they can see a consistency of how good you are. Tip number four, respond to everyone, including bots. Tip number five is focus on engaging your already existing following rather than focusing on growing a following. There is no point having 15,000 people follow you if no one is watching or listening. Anyway, peeps, that is it for me today. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Just go ham on that like button and turn on your post notifications for next week's video because I think we're tackling Instagram again. Don't blame me. Blame my Instagram following. Also, again, follow the Instagram. You gotta. You just gotta. Got ta. Got to. You got to follow my Instagram, <laughs> whatever.